Well, when it came time to fly what we assumed would be the last mission before uh, being fully qualified, I was swapped out of my position and somebody else was swapped in. This was probably in mid to late 1961. Now, the next mission was scheduled as a night mission. And as the aircraft took off, it barely cleared the runway and crashed on the end of the runway. It was nothing but a big fireball. And it was, of course, it was night, so it lit up the sky. And all three crew members were fatalities. I've dwelt on this experience many times. I flew with this crew four or five times, as I mentioned a minute ago, with the exception of this person that was swapped in in my place. It's not easy to consider whichever way this would have gone, if I would have been there or if it as reality was I wasn't there. But what, let me state one thing emphatically and irrevocably. I am thankful to God for whatever the, for what that outcome was. My Heavenly Father, I'm thankful to Him for that. He spared my life. I could have just as well and should have probably been there, but wasn't. In the passing years, I've tried to live consistently, believing that He has some specific plan for my life. And each one of us here as an individual can have that assurance that there is a specific plan for your life. You have special talents, you have special things that you can do, special things you can be. And only you can influence some people. So there is more than just living and passing off the scene like an animal. The human being is special in God's sight. Let us remember this day. Our country did not just happen. It did not just come out of nowhere. We know from studying history and from our own experience that the cost to start this nation and preserve her freedom has been high. <coughs> Hundreds of thousands have been lost have lost their lives in very in numerous hostilities in the civil war alone there were several hundred thousand if you count both sides let us take it not lightly those of you who have children in your home and in school today instill in pa instill patriotism to them